Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to build a high gain Wi-Fi antenna from a soup can. First, get a large can of soup. This I used uh, Campbell's vegetable beef, my favorite, so decide on a good day to have soup and buy yourself some soup. And this is a large can so you probably want to have somebody help you out. And uh, eat that all up, clean it up and get started building the antenna. Now this is the large can that's about six inches tall, just slightly less, and I think it's three and a quarter diameter. If you use a can of a different size, it'll throw off the measurements, which I'm going to give you in this video. Next, get yourself a, a cable and uh, I cut this off a cheap wireless antenna. It has the SMA connector on one end which goes into the computer. The other end is just cut off. I'll strip that back here in a minute. Next you need a piece of uh, solid copper. 18 gauge will work. And here is a piece of acrylic. Quarter inch thick. It doesn't really matter on the size. This is about a half inch wide and uh, I don't know inch and a quarter long and I drilled a small hole in it about a sixteenth and it, you don't have to use acrylic you can use cardboard or something all this is doing is holding the the active element inside the can it holds it straight up now some people buy the fancy connectors that makes a really nice antenna, but it's not really necessary. And my idea is to do this for free because I have all the parts here. Okay. First step is to peel off the label and drill a hole two and a half inches from the closed end. Just drill it right in the can. Then you want to take a file and get the burrs off the metal and if you haven't already done so uh, get your your piece of acrylic or whatever and drill a hole in it because it's going to be taped inside the can and it's going to go right over the hole just line the holes up because that's where this piece of copper is going to go the next step I strip the outer insulation off of this antenna wire and the center conductor I stripped it back and pull, also pulled this shield back and then I wrapped it around this about two inch long piece of solid copper and soldered it with my soldering iron. Now this will be shorter we just start longer because it's easier to trim it back when we tune the antenna. And uh, I also want to put it through the hole of the acrylic, make sure it fits. Alright, fits nice and snug. So that'll work. And next I'm going to solder the braid or the shield part of the cable onto the can. In this step, I stuck the center conductor of the wire up through the hole and then I soldered the shield conductor to the side of the can, making sure it was as close to the hole as possible so I don't change the characteristics of the antenna. Make sure you don't put the support block inside the can. In my case, I used acrylic, but you don't want to put that in yet because the heat of the soldering iron might cause the adhesive to come loose. and It'll, your block will fall off. So we'll do that in the next step. After all that, I took packaging tape, a couple layers of it, and taped it, taped the wire down on the can to act as a strain relief. So this wire is not pulling on this part. So you got, I don't know if you can see it, but I got clear packing tape wrapped around here holding the wire down. The headphones are just holding the can steady while I was soldering it. In this step, I took epoxy, which is a two-part adhesive. It has a resin and a hardener. 
I squeeze the same amount from both tubes on to the paper, just a little bit, mix it up, and then I dabbed it on that acrylic block I made earlier. Now since I had a hole drilled in that acrylic already, I slid it over the copper conductor, making sure that the holes were aligned, and then I taped it down so the uh, epoxy will have about a half hour to dry, and after that I can take that tape back out. Then you want to make sure that copper conductor is straight up and down, make sure it's not leaning forward or back. It's important that it's straight. Oh, one tip I should mention is before you, if you use glue or epoxy, make sure that you sand the inside of the can because it has uh, like a coating on there and that may make the glue not want to stick very well so just go over it with some sandpaper first and then glue it down and the final step here you want to take a piece of paper measure 1.25 inches optimally you want it uh, 1.2 inches and cut it down and now you put it in the can against the edge and make sure it's not up on the block, make sure it's all the way against the edge of the can like this. Push it up close to that conductor using that edge of the paper as a sight. You can align it with the copper and trim that copper conductor down so it's at the same height. The reason you do this now instead of pre-measure before is because when you insert the coax cable center conductor up into the can, it tends to add some length to that antenna and that will that tends to throw it off so it's better just to start with a longer piece of copper and then you know do this just put it in there trim it down to the right length the antenna is ready to rock now you're all set